Hey guys, I'm Anna with Amp Equestrian and for today's video, I'm going to show y'all what my evening routine looks like. So it's currently the uh, late afternoon, early evening, so I'm going to head out and do my chores. Let's go! she's in her mid 20s somewhere around 23 or 24 and she does not have any teeth really um, left so she has to get special hay um, she gets alfalfa timothy cubes and we soak it um, for about 12 hours before we feed it and then she also gets beet pulp and grain and the grain that we feed is super super soft so you literally it just it just breaks down really easily. You can see it just kind of crumbles just by me rubbing my fingers together. So it's really, really easy for her to eat it and break it down. So all of her food, she since she has no teeth, all the food that we feed her is super easy. She can just kind of move it around in her mouth and swallow it and it is safe for her to do so. I'm gonna drain out the water on her hay because she does not like the water. So let's get to making her food. Another, another tip is we cover all of our stuff with bags. So like this bucket, we have it covered with a trash bag. And like these buckets, I have custom little bucket covers and it helps to keep the flies out and keep the food and grain nice and fresh for the horses. And I can hear a lady in the background. She is running back and forth at the gate waiting for me to come and let her out so that she can um, be tied up and eat her food. We tie her, she lives in a group pasture so we tie her up at the wash rack so she can um, eat slowly and take her time and eat as much food as she wants. Okay, so I have drained all of her hay out of the water, but I leave the water in the bucket for later um, because I don't like to waste things around here. So now it's time to dump her beet pulp and her grain in her bucket. So this is her beet pulp that's been soaked. And then this is her grain, it says lady. And then I just take this whole bucket over to the wash rack and hang it up on the clip. Okay, now I literally will go and just open the gate and let her go for her food. tie her up and take her fly mask off. Time to go feed the other horses and I go feed the group pasture next because they are a little aggressive with each other so they all have to be tied up so I like to tie all I like to feed all of the horses that have to be tied first so that way they're eating while I'm feeding the rest of the crew
Okay, so this uh, is the water that I drained Lady's alfalfa out of. So I give this to the our, one of our ponies here um, because she is a little bit harder to keep weight on. So the extra nutrition that comes from the alfalfa that was drained out of the water um, really helps her with maintaining her weight. Help if I turn the golf cart. the grain in from this side of the fence to keep um, myself safer uh, in case if they were to get in any fight I won't be caught in the crosshairs and then when we make their feed we always do the buckets in order so you can just grab off the top and whoop, you can just grab off the top and dump it in their rope halters and we put on um, these handy dandy little clips on our rope halters so that it's super easy to attach them. We do rope halters because uh, uh, uh. leather halters break all the time if you use them especially whenever the horses are eating they're kind of aggressive with their buckets and next thing you know they've just snapped a leather halter. One thing about these with using the clips on the rope halters is it's still somewhat breakaway because these clips will break if uh, they pull on them hard enough. Moving. put it on the ground so we feed our horses hay and hay bags so I need to go grab three hay bags for these guys plus one hay bag for the paddock out in the back that we're about to go feed so let's go get some hay bags <laughs> So let's go. grain bucket and the alfalfa water and 
I'll just pour them both in her food bowl. Since she doesn't um, share a pasture with anybody and she doesn't pee in her hay and it's not very windy out today. I mean, it's windy, but not like 20 mile an hour wind. Um, I just pour her hay on the ground. She's got, you combine both of these buckets together, she's got about one full bucket of water. And horses tend to drink less at night than they do during the day. So one whole bucket this size, 10 gallon bucket is plenty for her for overnight. And since they're both kind of mucky, I want her to drink them down so I can scrub them out and cook them in the morning. So I'm gonna wash her paint. And then it's time to go feed all the, uh, we only have three more horses. Time to go feed the final three. One of them is looking at us right there. <laughs> okay, so whenever I drive back through from uh, doing Miss Starlet, I check this big water trough for the group pasture and as long as at night, as long as it's halfway full, that is plenty of water for them. During the day or in the morning, we want it all the way filled up, especially with it being so hot, but this is nice and halfway full, looks nice and clean, so we're gonna leave it for tonight. And then these guys are all happily eating their hay so we can close this gate so they can be untied, so that they can be untied when they're finished. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my empty hay bag from Starlet and go put it back at the hay wagon and get three new hay bags for the other boys that haven't been fed yet. Um, and all of my water cans are still full because we didn't use any for Starlet. So um, there's no need to refill any of these. I know they look like gas cans, but they've never had gas in them, that only water. And this is how we cart water out to the pastures because we don't have spigots at every pasture, which sucks. But that will be in the future. <laughs> so I am actually allergic to this hay, so I do not fill the hay bags. So I normally just drop them off at the hay bale for either my mom, Madeline, or somebody else to fill them up because if I do, I break out in like hives and rashes and stuff, so that's not very good. So I don't mess with that job. <laughs> so now it's time to go feed the other three. horses are waiting extremely long time for their dinner. And then I always shut the door so no mice or flies can get in there.
Okay, so the first thing I did was I brought Dreamy his grain since that's the thing he likes the most so that he would be occupied eating that while I dump his hay, drive the golf cart through, and check his waters. It helps keep him. I also have his feed pan a little bit further away from the gate so that way he doesn't try to escape while I am dumping the hay, driving through, and checking the waters. Um, I also dump the hay a little bit further th from the gate because he eats really fast. So by the time I'm done feeding Dreamy, and, I mean Barbie and Jax, he's already eating his hay. So that way when I come back through with the golf cart to go back out of this gate, he's further away from the gate so I don't have to try to move him to drive through. So Dreamy also has these two 10 gallon buckets and both of them are actually really full and this one's clean and this one's a little murky so I'm gonna leave them for tonight and let him drink them both down so they can be scrubbed and clean tomorrow. Now I'm gonna go to Barbie. scrub them and dump them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. We just have a handy dandy little scrubber brush from Walmart is what I use. about um, getting your gas cans to pour out easily like that is we drill holes in them like this that will let the air escape so that the water comes out of the um, cap part uh, nice and easy with a good flow.
gasket and this one's only about like seven so i only put one um gas can of water in that one versus two in that one i could split a fourth one between the two but since it's nighttime and he won't drink that much i don't do that especially with him living out here in such a sandy pasture it gets gross really quickly so um i don't like to fill it up and him have a lot to drink with it being really gross so with that being said he is all done um with being fed so now it's time to head to our final horse which is mr jackson so let's go We could have just made that one bigger, but... here we do it in reverse order <clears throat> reverse order of feeding so 
Whenever we fed the fruit pasture, we fed Starlet last, so we will fill her bucket first, and then we'll keep going in reverse order. And I also feed my horses their supplements all, all in their dinner feed, so their morning feed is just grain. Now the search begins for the grain scoop. Um, scoop. Tell them why. So we always feed out of the same trash can because you want to make sure that you're rotating through the grain and using the oldest grain first. And so we always feed until this trash can goes all the way down to the bottom and whatever it's like the crumbs on the bottom or you can't really get it into your scoop really well, we take that and dump it into uh, onto the top of the next trash can's grain so that it's the first grain scooped out. the best out of all of the methods we've tried. So the grain, the alfalfa cubes, and the beet pulp all stay in trash cans. So for her, we just kind of cover the bottom. That's kind of how we go about measuring out how much she gets. And then now we take it to the water spigot and fill it up with some water. She only gets beet pulp once a day, and that is made in the morning and fed to her at night, just like all the other supplements. So now we need to refill our gas cans with water. I unravel it first, so that way it's not trying to spew water everywhere while I'm unraveling it. And then I always start with the gas can that's the furthest away from the spigot. And work my way towards this thicket so that way when I'm on the last gas can I'm right there and I can turn it off.
video. All I have left to do is let Lady go, and I do that after I eat my dinner because she just started on her beet pulp and hay, so it's gonna be a while. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video or you learned anything from this video, please leave a comment down below and hit that like button. Also, subscribe to this channel to see more videos like this in the future. We also do informational videos and competition vlogs and all kinds of fun things. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to, see, to have more fun with us. Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember to dream big, work hard, and with God, anything is possible. Thanks so much. See you next time.